Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news. Views uh, these days we're analyzing the declining value of bar and the macroeconomic reforms introduced by Ethiopian government. Bar is losing against uh, dollar. Several viewers comment about Eritrean economy to Eritrean Nakfa, Eritrean black market. How is the situation being handled in Eritrea? How strong is Nakafa? Is there any black market in Eritrea? Was there in was there a black market in Eritrea? There was a black market, very strong black market in Eritrea. How did Eritrea control this black market? Can Ethiopia or should Ethiopia follow Eritrean model? I thought of having a look at all these uh, questions because some viewers were commenting about it. Then I worked on it for the last four days. I've been working on it. And one viewer helped me a lot. I don't know much about Eritrean economy because Eritrea does not publish its budget. Everything is uh, shrouded in mystery in Eritrea. But whatever I have been able to learn, I want to share with you. Firstly, was there ever any black market in Eritrea? Was there a difference between official exchange rate and black market exchange rate? Yes. Uh, let's go back a little. In 2015, there was a strong black market in Eritrea. Like we have a strong black market in Ethiopia now. Almost situation was the same in Eritrea in 2015. Back then, uh, the official uh, Nakfa to US dollar exchange rate was uh, 1 to 15. 1 dollar for 15 Nakfas. But in black market, its rate was around 55. Between 50 and 60. One dollar for around 60 nakfas. The situation was even worse than the situation is in Ethiopia. Eritrean government then took some decisions. Which decisions? By the way, we know that Eritrean economy relies heavily on remittances. Eritrea receives around 2 billion US dollars in remittances annually. And that uh, constitutes around 30 to 40 percent of Eritrean GDP. That is why Eritrean government uh, is so closely connected with diaspora. It backs diaspora because diaspora is the backbone of Eritrean economy. So Eritrea wanted to kill black market. It decided to firstly, but there are no banks which are private banks in Eritrea. We have private banks in Ethiopia, but no private banks. We have no private banks in Eritrea. Uh, everything is state owned, like there is no television channel which is private, there is no radio station, there is no TV, there is no bank to which is private. Everything is state owned. Eritrea decided to kill the demand for dollars. If you kill the demand for dollars, obviously black market will see a decline in the value of uh, dollar. That's what happened. How did Eritrea kill the demand for dollars? Well, it just uh, pressed economic activity. It uh, announced bureaucratic hurdles. It uh, imposed a ban on new construction. Engineers were arrested. Businessmen were arrested. Basically, business activity came to a standstill because of stringent, harsh measures adopted by Eritrean government. Businessmen fled. Engineers fled, construction industry was destroyed, you can say. People were 
put in prisons too. Why? Because the government wanted to kill demand for dollars. Obviously, when there are no businesses operating, uh, there will be no demand for foreign currency. Those businesses which used foreign currency, they came under this crackdown by Iranian government starting from 2015. Secondly, the Iranian government launched uh, a currency replacement program. People were told to deposit their nakfas at banks to withdraw new nakfa notes. It was a very important decision. Uh, people had to deposit their uh, money because had they not deposited, their nakfas would have become just useless. So people had to deposit their money, and then government imposed restrictions on withdrawal. So government controlled the currency. Still, there are restrictions. I think around five thousand nakfas can be withdrawn per month in Iraqi. I think so. Government, which was already controlling the remittances, remittances are sent through banks by diaspora. It controlled, it killed economic activity too. It killed the demand for dollars and it forced people to deposit their nakfas with the banks. So, what happened is that a black market just fell, it crashed, it came to the level of official. Now, Today, you can say the official Nakfa to dollar exchange rate 15. One US dollar for 15 Nakfa. In black market, almost same 15.5 or 16, less than 16. There is no big difference between black market, no difference in the value of dollar and Nakfa in black market and official market. But Eritrea achieved this at the cost of suppressing all economic activity. No business, no new business licenses were issued. Business licenses were not uh, extended. Just uh, last week, the video, if you remember, I told you about two new amendments made by Eritrean government that now new business licenses will be issued. All will be, re will be renewed. The, so, this uh, renewal registration of licenses uh, uh, has remained suspended for years. Uh, is this model uh, the one which should be followed by Ethiopian government? Well, if you want to kill all economic activity you can follow this model in reality everything is state controlled even the commodities are provided by state owned network of uh, state owned shops so supply is being controlled by Eritrean government supply of basic commodities arrival of uh, dollar being controlled currency being controlled business activity almost zero that is how Eritrea managed to kill black market at the cost of a serious uh, economic, uh, you can say it was a decision which uh, killed the hopes of uh, economic progress in Eritrea. Because without businesses, without flourishing of businesses, without creating favorable conditions for businesses, how can a country prosper? Not everything in a country can be controlled by government. Government cannot run each and every business. Government cannot just run each and every factory, each and every sector of economy. Government has to involve, has to back has to support entrepreneurs, businessmen. And those businesses then uh, become the backbone of the government.
but in eratia the government wanted to crush black market no matter what the cost was that is why uh, no economic progress in eratia no businesses flourishing even the diaspora eratia and diaspora community is not interested in investing in eratia in present circumstances they would like to ensure that their investment is safe it won't be nationalized there'll be no democratic uh, there'll be no bureaucratic hurdles they'll have some protection who will give these guarantees to investors will the government do that no eritrean government is investing in other countries eritrean government backed investors businessmen they are investing in other countries they are not investing in eritrea i don't think this model should be followed by any country right now you can say the economy which uh, is in eritrea it's not an open economy it's not uh, a transparent economy it's a tightly controlled a mafia type economy uh and the value of nakfa uh when dollars uh, arrive remittances dollars arrive in eritrea people get nakfa uh, after uh, when they withdraw from the account they don't get dollars obviously the nakfas which they get are undervalued i mean if they are getting uh, 1500 nakfas for 100 dollars with those 1 1500 nakfas they can buy commodities worth around 20 25 dollars it means 70 80% of dollars value dollars worth is being uh, robbed by rating government only 15 20 25% is reaching the people this is what is happening in eritrea ethiopia adopted a liberal western model leave the economy to leave the market to market forces uh market forces will determine the value of birth the value of dollar let businesses flourish but can this model be followed in ethiopia ethiopia is not the us it's not europe ethiopia will have to intervene at some time i won't back the emulation of eritrean model in ethiopia at the same time i think if ethiopia blindly follows western us models it could face serious challenges let's see how ethiopia controls black market because pm abi said just two days ago that uh, now the government stated goal is that it wants to kill black market how will it do that that range to be seen. thank you for watching